Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. I hope everybody is doing good and you guys are really learning from the videos that are uploaded regularly in my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the step by step process of creating a free account in Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing platform and it is the fastest and second largest cloud provider as of now. So before we get into the process of creating a free account, let us first understand what is cloud computing. Cloud computing is an on-demand access for resources like applications, storage, VMs, database via the internet hosted on remote data center by cloud providers like AWS, Microsoft, GCP, and Oracle and etc. And primarily the categories of the services in the cloud are software as service, platform as service, and infrastructure as service. There are other services that are coming up but primarily these are categorized into the these three categories now when you talk about software service you are allowing user to connect and use cloud based apps over the internet the best example is google sheets or google docs on the cloud second is platform as service that is provides a complete development and deployment environment for your developers to allow them to build test deploy and scale their applications instantly as per the requirement and demand and finally we have infrastructure as service which offers you the infrastructure resources such as compute storage networking via the cloud the key features of microsoft azure is compute networking storage database security and authentication monitoring web services and mobile services we will be creating videos in this microsoft azure series which will include not only setting up a free azure account but also understanding walk through the portals understanding each and every services then obviously using those services how to set up vms how to set up compute engines and how to set up your favorite database mysql database and we will finally also work with microsoft asp.net mvc or core in connecting to azure and utilize most of the services that is available and provided by microsoft azure so this is a very high level platform that will be covered later on in our sections in our tutorials this tutorial is focusing on creating a free azure account but this is what you will be learning gradually in our channel we'll be learning about the infrastructure service that is storage compute we'll be learning about platform like compute services developer services application platforms data analytic iot and hybrid cloud and many other security features this was a, a broad level of what we have in Azure as a platform. So let's proceed and go to Azure portal and create a free Azure account. We will need a credit card and a valid email address so that our account is created. But don't worry, this credit card is taken only for validity. After the limit provided, if the limit exceeds, then only it starts charging your credit card if you use certain services. We, I will show you the to total limit and what are the available services that are always free, what are the services that are free till your tri trial period. So let's proceed to the portal. So I am on the website now and in, in order to access Azure, you can either type MS Azure or and, um, you can see the, the pages over here You can or you can just simply type in portal.azure.com Azure portal you can just type that and even that is displayed over here now let us go ahead and click on this to create a free account now you can see the portal is loaded and here you can see free start and you can see the popular service that are free for 12 months and services that are all, always free we can see all this over here i recommend that you just go through this portal before you head towards creating your account so that you have an understanding what exactly these services are so let's click on free start free And here you can see it is prompting to enter your email address and password now you need to have a microsoft account i've already created my account but in order to create an account you just need to click create one and you provide your email address and 
password and then it will ask you for enter your mobile number or email and it will send you the OTP or uh, the OTP on the phone or the email that is entered and your account is created. So uh, let me go and log in with my account. So I've logged in my, to my account and here you can see the portal is getting loaded. So this is Azure sign up page and you can see once I log in, it is prompting me to, you can see my email address and sign out. And here you can see it is, this form is created over here where I can go ahead and enter the, my details and it will create an account for me and here are the popular services these are the popular services 55 service always free and 13,300 credit to use in your first 30 days so this is an offer going on where it is giving additional credit apart from the credit that is already given so let us go ahead and sign in so this is this This is the email address. So I'll be entering the mobile number. So the and it will either send me a text message or call me, which I'll do it right now. So I've entered my mobile number and received the verification code. I'm just typing the verification code. So my verification code is successfully authenticated. Now I'll be providing the organization and the PAN ID detail which is optional. This is optional. I need to enter my address. I'll be entering my city, state and my PIN code. So once I enter all my information, I say agree and if I want to receive any information or promotion, I can click on tick and then I click on next. Next, it will prompt you to enter your credit card details. So here is where I'll enter my credit card details. So we need a proper valid credit card details to set up our account. I'll be entering this credit card details and click on sign up. So once I entered my credit card details, it validated through an OTP, uh, my card details, and it also debited around rupees 2, which is equivalent to uh, some uh, 0 0.024 cents and this amount will be credited back into your account within a day's time this was then only to validate whether you are entering a valid credit card and once i successfully completed that stage i was redirected to this page where it says you are ready to start with azure so this was a simple simple step and procedure to create an account in in azure and here you can see there are some tutorials given but we will just go to our portal So here is a portal which is finally set up for us and here you can see it's a very beautiful intuitive website a portal that is provided by microsoft to manage all your cloud computing services on azure now here this is a quick start center which provides you a self-managed way of wizard you can see it a wizard which provides a wizard to use a certain services on azure now if you let me go back to the home page and when you go back to your home page here you can see all the services that are available so you can see you can click on more services and you can see all the services that are available in azure you can see loads of services depending upon the requirement like ai so ai and machine learning as these many services analytics compute then there is database devops general and lots of lots of service available provided by azure on your left hand side you can see there's a menu if you click on that you can see there's a menu which has database 
सर्विस एप सर्विसेज और रिसोर्स ग्रुप्स वर्चुअलाइजेशन एंड मेनी मोर सर्विसेज दैट आर अवेलेबल विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन डिटेल इन दिस इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट फॉर एजर इन आर डिजिटल टेक्स ट्रेन चैनल नाउ इफ यू गो टू द टॉप राइट एंड साइड यू कैन यूर यू कैन सी माई प्रोफाइल इज है डिजिटल फ्रॉम विच आई एड लॉगड इन एंड एन आई क्लिक ऑन दिस यू कैन सी दिस profile and you can sign in with a different user or you can go to the directory and change some details then next to it you have the feedback session where you can give the feedback of the portal then this is the support and troubleshooting where you can raise tickets if at all you want to ask something some queries related to, to your services then we have this directory and subscription where i have already subscribed for this um, free uh, account and then we have the notification section where all the notifications are displayed over here okay and finally i want to tell you uh, this is a command line this is powershell which is a which is a command line tool that is provided within the portal by azure and this will help us to use there are many people who love writing codes in command line codes to initiate any resource or create a resource when that is provided over here within the browser and plus if you don't want to use commercial you can use the portal directly to create resources so now guys we will in our next tutorial we are going to learn about how to set up a cost management service since we have linked our credit card to our portal account we want to make sure that we don't go for any services that is uh, that incurs its cost so we need to add alerts and threshold limit that we are going to cover in the next tutorial but primarily we'll also cover in the same tutorial how to use the portal what are the features of the portal because i need to brief you everybody on the way you need to use the portal and how do you access how do you make any service enable in your quick start by setting it as a favorite and all this that's um, quick tips and tricks and as i mentioned since this is a free trial account microsoft azure gives you 200 dollars of credit in your account and 12 months free access so in order to make sure that your threshold limit is not exceeded you need to make sure to keep a tap on the credit is been utilized so you need to go to the top search bar and just type billing and in your billing you can scroll down and microsoft provides a very beautiful interface where it gives you so you can see it's a free trail account and this is a subscription id and when i click on that you can see it provides you a very beautiful interface of what are the services and how much amount of credits already utilized so this is the starting credit and uh, credit remaining uh, so we can see all the services over there against each services number of uses that you have done for this month so uh, this is something that you need to keep a track when you are using a free trial account Uh, and um, guys thank you very much for watching this video and this was a very simple step by step process to create an azure account also brief to certain certain concept which is required uh, before we start the journey of understanding and learning microsoft azure together we, i want everybody to participate and uh, do uh, subscribe my channel and like my video share my channel with your, all your friends and colleagues and help us to grow our channel so see you in the next tutorial where we'll going to learn about this portal as well as we are going to set up our cost and billing alerts thank you guys